Hey guys, Earth Tamer Ronin here, and this is take 2310 of recording Shelter 2 with Antonova Pasta. Uh, thank you, Mr. Fish. Uh, today we're going to be playing this game. It's called Sheltered Shelter 2. Uh, I've never actually played this before, and and uh, Mr. Fish here told me it's a very interesting game with a very interesting plot, which is basically about being a mother and making sure your children don't die horrible deaths pretty much sums up the game. I had played through several generations of this successfully without losing any cubs, but all my progress was wiped out when I transferred to my new computer with all this new recording set up. So we're going to start right from the beginning. Oh, great. Uh, uh, question, though. Um, from right from the beginning, do a, I have a question. So, how does this generation thing work for our viewers that don't know how this works, especially me, who doesn't know how this generation thing works? So, you start as this one mother lynx named Ina, and um, you have to care for her cubs, and if, you, if any of your cubs survive, then you go into the family tree after you finish raising those cubs, and they've since left you, and... Um, then you have to, then you pick one of those cubs and that cub um, that cub then is like the mother of a whole new set of cubs and it keeps going and the cubs Wait. look a little bit different each time and what happens to the rest of the cubs um that's never really specified in the game oh, oh my gosh that could probably mean they all died and when we get to, well you raise them to adulthood and then they all leave you um, so, they might have, for instance, to these predators, like, wolves. Um, however, like, I'm guessing a lynx wouldn't exactly be a wolf's primary target food choice. However, I can still think that they're, um, not above taking the occasional lynx. Uh, speaking of wolves and wolf facts, um, as we are currently running from wolves... Actually... I can give you, I can give you a, an interesting wolf, wolf uh, fact. Did you know that wolves are just wild dogs? They're wild dogs, man. Because they're cool. Not really. They're, well, Minecraft makes you think so. But, um, no, they're not really. Because if you've ever seen, um, especially, like, documentaries about wolf-dog hybrids, that's actually a big problem because they can't be, like, fully domesticated. Because process of domestication takes a really long time of breeding and getting each generation used to people uh interesting fact uh interesting fact um from from uh, actually interesting story though i like to give um back in the day uh back in the day uh, my, yeah back in the day uh my family um uh we, we decided to get this dog uh it's his name i can't remember what his name was it was something tough he used to live on this on my, on my grandma's farm and and he and we and we brought him up from from the north, uh, uh, the north of Portugal. In the north of Portugal, there's a lot of wolves, and so and we found and my aunt found this dog, and this dog was she thought it was super cool. He looked super tough. Uh, thing is, thing is, she so she brought it. She got a vaccine and stuff like that. Uh, problem with this is when they took it to the vet, the, the vet was like, "This is not a dog. This is a wolf." And they're like, "Oh," but they decided to keep it. But man, this dog. This dog was the cool, like like the most awesome dog you ever seen. Like the toughest dog you ever seen. Had a scar in one eye. Had a bullet wound in its tail. That sounds and, uh, kind of like gory. Man, it wasn't gory. It, 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 it was a it was a scar. He had a lot. Of, he had some. He had a couple of scars. Um, but yeah, he he uh, yeah he used to run. He was the coolest dog ever, man. Like cool. And we used to live in the front yard because um, there were a lot of, a lot of boars used to come around and try to like you know. Like you know, kill the other mess the up pigs your trash. <laughs> Pretty mess up trash. Like you know, kill pigs. And he used to like chase Wait, the boars, boars away, like the hero. That doesn't sound right to me for some reason. Boars really? killing pigs. I mean, I could see it because boars hunt people occasionally, but. Well, no, they were trying to kill the male pigs, the female pig, and that's probably because of some sort of territorial thing. Uh, but I'm not a scientist, though, so I can't confirm. Uh, what was I gonna say? But yeah, um, it was super cool though. He was he was a cool dog. I wonder. I don't think I have any more. I don't. I think I don't have any pictures. But I remember he was like I ah. was I was I was five years old, but I was a super tall kid. Uh, um, Mr. Mr. Fish here. 
can uh, can can confirm how tall I am. Uh, and like, and that dog was just massive, like three times my size. That's that's how that's how tall that doggo was. The bad thing about hey. wolf dog hybrids, though, is you can never tell like how much wolf they are and how much dog they are. Oh no, you can. Well, like through personality wise, you mean? Like. Oh no, you can. All right. Well, tell explain to us how. Well, actually, know what? Let's cut here because. Um, one of the many, many retakes we have done, we have stalled in, like, almost full ten minutes trying to name these cubs. So we're gonna name these cubs, we're gonna cut back, and we're gonna explain the names. Sound good to everyone? Yeah. And I'll finish the story there. Uh, actually, I'll finish my explanation. Okay. Alright, three, two, one, cut. And we're back, guys. So we have named all of the kits. We have Candy. And we have inside joke, and now Mr. we're going to continue. So, Mr. Mr. Fish, can I can I explain why? Okay, so uh, we need all Barry the cubs. Or... No, not Barry. 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 Barry's, Barry's a, a hidden joke. You, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like you had to guess. Only um, a select amount of subscribers will understand that one. Okay, so uh, so we named them all after candy, uh, especially especially certain candies from the company Hershey. Uh, they make really good candy, like Reese's Puffs and Hershey, and like, you know... In case uh, wait, some of you guys you have never had it, because, like, why would you not have Hershey candy? Reese, Reese's Puffs, Hershey... What would you, what would you name the third one? The brown one? Uh, Kit Kat. So, wait, and no, Kit, Kit Kat. Kat... Oh, yeah, we named him just straight up Hershey, like the Hershey chocolate bar, except we didn't have enough room to add an E in there, so we had to cut out the yeah. E. I wonder why Ina, Ina's the name of the, of the mother, by the way. I wonder why she would choose some such strange name for their cups. Well, I don't think Lynxes normally choose names. I ask you uh, a question. Uh, do uh, do Lynxes often have certain sounds they use to associate with their children? Like, with different children? Uh, they can call their children, so I presume so, yes. Or, um, but I think they can only call them in group, right? I have to get used to how close I can get to the rabbits without startling them. Oh, you, yes, you yes, yes. Ah! Oh, for any of you who've played um, uh, Arkham, uh, I've played any of the Batman games, this is a lot like Detective Vision, where you can no, wait, see the, the not stuff. The, don't eat it, Lynx. Stupid Lynx. Ah. Pick up. There we go. I'm getting used so, to it. Uh, so, how many how many rabbits can we feed to the children? You know, we, we want to be good parents, me me and Mr. Fish. We want to make, sure, make sure that our children eat well and they don't starve. Yeah. Um, also, please take note of stamina bar in the bottom left. Stamina? I thought cats are supposed to be full of energy. They they are full of energy, but they need to gain that energy somehow. And we gain that energy through eating things. Luckily, we're not playing on hard mode, though, so we can regain stamina by just relaxing a little bit. And that's so how science works, kids. Yep. You, you know, need... I've noticed... I don't know if there's a mini explosion in the background. Is that just me? Anyway. Is that a... I see a mini explosion in the background for some reason. Uh, well, that might just be the art style deceiving you a little bit. It's either. Uh, yeah, no, like right there. You, you don't see it? The sun? Giant explosion. The sun? That's the, that's the sun? I thought that was like a volcano. The or giant something. fiery ball thing in the sky? Yeah, I thought that was an explosion. Yeah, that that's the sun. It's the art style. Now, so if we were to take a are, guess oh, on, where the in the country, come out yet? no. So if we were to take a guess where in the country this would be, where we would take a guess? I'm guessing Yellowstone. Um, they have specific types of deer here, though. So probably a, like more western. And you might originally. Oh, oh, that rabbit. Yeah. Oh, rabbit. are we gonna see some cowboys then? Some Ooh, cowboys. cowboys. Yes. Okay. There we go. Oh, also, guys, uh, if we get 10 likes on this video, we will continue the series. I seriously, I will. I also think that we might just continue the series for the fun of it. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. Oh, and if you want to see me in more videos, we need at least five likes. All right. Likes. He's going off popularity. I'm just going for all the people I can get. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm here for the popular. I'm, I'm the, I'm the smart one here. I'm telling him how to actually manage this. You oh, all the cubs decide succeeds. to follow me. Okay, well that's nice. Uh, I haven't played oh, this. No, oh, 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 oh! You thought you could escape? No, my stamp. I forgot to watch that. All right, we're just gonna sit here for a second. 
We're gonna figure out where that corpse went. Oh, that's where that went. Okay. Yeah. You guys eat that. You gotta keep them well fed, and when they're well fed, they'll be bigger. Careful, because if they get fat, you know, they're not gonna, not gonna be able to hunt and stuff. So you can't feed them too much. Well, yeah, but that, sh that won't be our main problem. Do, do we ever leave this valley? valley yeah, Mr. we will go to places like that forest over there. When you, I go into scent view, you can see different locations like the forest and Wolf Valley. Wow. Oh, what is, what is, what is the, wait, Wolf Valley? What is that place? Yeah, um, if- Wait, during... don't spoil anything. Oh, just in case well, if it's I... important to the story. Um, is, is that just where the wolves are? The, yeah, well, during a certain time of year. Like what, winter? Yeah. Are they not out in the summer? Do they like- Well, they are, but presumably there's someplace else. So I'm guessing it's like reverse, reverse, reverse hibernation. They hibernate during the summer and all the other years, and in winter, they wake up and eat. Because these are weird wolves. These are video game wolves. Okay, remember guys, don't take video games as facts. Video games, 90% of the time, are wrong. Oh, I can't even see the rabbits I'm hunting. There we go. Hey, look at that guy. That guy's being greedy, man. Well, what's the name of the, the gray one? What do we call him? Oh, um... Uh, what was the gray one? I remember the red one's Reese's Puffs. Reese's... Uh, Reese's berry. Yep. Oh, the, I Reese's think that's berry, actually the Hershey. brown one. That's actually the brown one. Oh, so that's um, that's a uh, Hershey. Like yeah, no, that's not the brown ones. Is it Hershey the brown one or is the? Oh, so Hershey's the brown one. Gray one's the uh, gray one is um. Well, no, the gray one is the brown one. So the brown one is Hershey, and then the the lighter brown one is, is um. Kit Kat. Okay, Kit Kat. Kit Kat uh, yeah. berry. Dudes. Uh, Hershey Reese's. Man, Barry, Barry looks like the most active out of all of them, man. You could almost say he's... high on life. Anyway. Oh, uh, uh, no. No. Anyway, no. So, no. We're looking, so we're looking through this shrubbery, and uh, we can see there's no animals left, because high and hu Oh, wait, we saw another one. Okay, we almost hunted all the animals, we almost brought out Brown to extinction. Yeah, and his this is, is a little oh. bit, his stream is a little bit behind, so he's not seeing exactly what you guys are seeing at the same time. Oh, okay, we see more rabbits, never mind, we're not bringing them to extinction. Uh, you know it'd be awesome if these games had multiplayer, so you can play as two parents? Yeah, but I don't think Link's, Lynx's work like that, sadly. No, no, not Lynx's, not Lynx's, I played the That's first shelter else. game. I've actually oh, played badgers. the first shelter game. Yeah. Yeah, I played the first shelter game, and uh, you know they changed the animal. The next one we sh they should do is probably like lions. They already have another game actually that is multiplayer. It's called Meadow, but it's much more relaxed. It's not like survival hunting. It's what, like, is, what, is, what is it about? It's what like animal? a bunch of different animals running around exploring kind of thing. It's more about the environment. Um, so they're all friends. Yeah. Okay, so I watched enough Ge National Geographic. At what point do we kill one of them to feed the rest? Um, no, how Can you kill one of them? Can we kill one of what? Oh, the other animals and, yeah. The um, children? No, you can't. Can't kill the children? This is, this oh, is my highly children? inaccurate. Well, I could. I could feed them to the wolves. No, dude. I just mean, like, kill it yourself, man. Like, you know. Also, I do want to go to the forest eventually, because there are deer there. And I might go to Wolf Valley, just for the fun of the video. Wait, right. wait, what do you mean much fun? Dude, we don't want to bring our children to direct danger. That's bad parenting. Well, it is, but it's also good video making, so... Okay, guys, you see, anybody who... Okay, if you give a... Okay, here, think about it like this. If anybody if anybody in the comments say they only watched the video because they, they got to watch us kill our children, and I just want to say that that's a horrible thing to say. Don't say that. And then we see the entire comments flooded with, I love to see all the children die in the video. Cause that's how people are. Um, yeah, that's how people are. Come also, on, guys. Also, you have I... been noticing I've only been killing two rabbits at a time. Sometimes I'll go on like a streak when I um, start to get more used to it and kill like four. But I kill even numbers so that my children get even amounts to eat hey, all Mr. across Mr. the board. Fish. Mr. Fish, technically you're Mrs. Fish because now you have children. So, I have a, uh, so Mr. Or Fish. Or you could just call me Ina. Okay, Ina. Ina, I think we have a problem here. Uh. Uh, I feel I feel like Kit Kat is being very malnourished. I don't I don't I don't think she, I don't think uh, we haven't decided on who's a who's a who's a girl or not, right? Um, I think we've decided that. Well, let's, actually, let's assume that all the candy ones are girls, and let's assume Barry 
Barry is the only guy. Well, let's assume Barry is the only girl. Normally, I try to go for two guys and two girls in the litter kind of thing, just to like. But we can go for three, yeah. Um, no, how about this? We make Barry the only girl. Well, why would Barry be a girl? I don't think even in the like or origins of the name Barry that that was. Well, I was thinking Kit Kat and I know Reese's. Okay, I'm okay, thinking Mr. Kit Fish. Kat and Reese's. With um, DR Mr. Fish. Girls. Yeah. Mr. Fish, I, I know one. Uh, I know somebody who uh, I know a girl whose name is John. That was random. Mary John. That's that's her name. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, we're gonna see. Oh. Dope. Catch one. Uh, so yeah. All right. F swing around. Swing around. You guys gotta catch them all. Drop. Mid air him. catch. Mid air catch. All right. Come uh, on, I little would cubbies. not say that was mid air. I would say that was a, a, an average. I think that was I low jumped, air. I jumped. I jumped and I caught it though. Um. Okay. I like I'll pounced on it. Also, if you've noticed, I've been collecting all the skull skulls, and that's to keep a kill count in the game. So we can see how many creatures I've killed in total at the end. You're keeping- wait, you're keeping the skulls? Um, keeping- well, yeah, so, the, like, there's little skulls, and you can collect them, like this flower up ahead. They're little collectibles throughout the area. So where do they go? Wait, wait, where do you put the skulls? I don't know. It's just, like, part of the game to keep track of things. Maybe, maybe I think maybe links have special pockets that we don't know of. Sure, we'll just go with that, Antonio. Also, I am or, kind of hoping that. Oh wait, why am I headed toward? Hmm, should I head toward the woods maybe and try to find like some quail things? I don't know. I, th I think it would be nice. I think it would be a nice change of scenery. Like I'm pretty sure. But that quail sure are so are. hard to hunt because they like fly. <laughs> what well, quail? They're like flying that's... rabbits. They're literally flying rabbits. That's how annoying they are. Mr. Fish, Mr. Fish. Oh no, I don't like how it's getting dark. All right. Mr. Oh no. Mr. Fish. All right, it's the storm. It's the storm. Get back. Mr. Mr. Fish. Quail, that's your problem. It's the storm. It's the storm. It's the storm. What storm? Oh, that storm. It's getting really dark really fast. Oh no. All right. I think we. I think we should all head home for a nap. We are headed home. No, I'm not sure what the storm is. I've discussed this with some people before, but we have never quite figured out what exactly the storm is. All right, it's coming in from okay, that direction. Okay, so when water evaporates, it goes into the sky, and it forms okay. clouds. No, when there's we're, too not, many it, we're clouds, not sure if it's like a firestorm or what. Also... Firestorm? Could you could you think this game takes place in, during World, World War II? Not like firestorm like that, but like a uh, forest fire. Smokey oh my the God, bear seriously? would not. Uh, You're gonna oh, guys, be difficult. Smokey, Smokey the bear would not approve of that. Also, also, I'd like to mention that um, Barry, Barry, uh, Barry, the guy we named uh, Barry after. Uh, we gotta, we is, gotta take all the cubs he is, up here. He's he is uh, the yeah, but yeah, Barry, Barry, the, uh, the right. guy we named Barry after. This his, is this is her safe spot. <laughs> Look at that. That is what we're hiding from. Over there, in the forest. No one's quite sure what it is. Why don't but, you go check it out? Uh, um... Well, based upon the fact that you can only hit so when you, like, uh, left click, I am presuming it's no good thing. Also, the fact that it's covering all the trees and moving slowly across the landscape. Doesn't that I think we good. should all... I think, think we should all get in the house, then, instead of, like, you know, chilling outside. Well, yeah. But it's at like the same height level, so all right. You know what? Yeah, we we're just gonna like we're gonna collect all the uh, rabbits from here, and we're just gonna like get right here, and we're gonna sit, and we're gonna we're gonna have we're, we're gonna, gonna have watch nice, all the destruction from a distance. We're gonna have a nice family picnic. Nice family, oh picnic thing, yeah. Nice family picnic in the den. Actually, Good it's a nice thing family I fed dinner. all the cubs before, so none of them like are gonna get um, weak to the point where they might die. You know, you know, you know. It kind of, you know, you know. I always wonder where is the father in all of this, man. Like, look at the children. The children have a good chance of dying, and and, and this and this Link's mother is doing it alone. 
Well, I think the thing that makes it more lighthearted is the art style. And then all of oh, a yeah. sudden, the thing, like, recedes, and then it's, like, gone. So, like, the sky brightens, and then all of a sudden, like... But wait, can't we just feed them with milk? Uh, Guts well, that was the earlier days. So we're, like, transferring them over to meat. Meat. Oh, that's, a, that's like, cute and kind of weird. They, like, rolled into each other. Oh, well. All right, jump down. All right. We gotta get hunting quick here. We gotta make up for lost food. We're not gonna hunt that rabbit because he's not in a group. Not it's rabbit. nice. It's nice how much these these guys enjoy nature. These these cubs, isn't it? But you know what'd be really messed up. You know what'd be really really messed up, Mr. Fish. What? If this turned into a Bambi situation. Oh. Uh, for any of you who have never watched Bambi. Uh, Bambi was this one movie by Disney about like you know, deers and the, the life of a deer. And in, and in Bambi, um, the the mother deer gets shot by a hunter. Yeah. Even though in like... even though in most states that's illegal. To well, shoot mother deer. okay. Well, the thing there are certain seasons that you can because it's population management, right? So since humans have killed off so many predators. We need to kind of try to fill these ecological gaps. And by what the mother deer? Um. Well, female deer. Okay. During that season when she had a fawn, yes, that probably would have been considered poaching. But um, like that specific setup, it kind of just portrays hunters and as bad, which is kind of like sad because hunters are actually one of the um leading people who like actually help conservation. They're one of the leading conservation groups because. Mm. Um, they're out in nature so much, and they have whole, like, um, like, so I have this story to tell about this one hunter, and he was at this, um, I forget what you call it, but it's sort of a convention kind of thing, and, um, they were auctioning off a rhino hunt, and the reason for that, um, was the park rangers had actually set this up, because the rhino was, um, an old rhino, and he could no longer reproduce, and he would actually... Um, kill off the younger rhinos for like competition purposes so you need to get rid of them so they were gonna um, auction him off like auction off a hunt um, on him so that they could get rid of him and make some money for the actual conservation of the rhinos themselves um, but the sad thing is so this hunter pays lots and lots of money um, for this hunt and um, he still like he gets and he ends up getting, like, horribly blackmailed with all kinds of death threats and stuff because um, of the fact that he killed a rhino. And people just on the internet think, oh, he killed a rhino, he's horrible. But in fact, he was helping conserve rhinos in two ways. He was getting rid of the rhino that was killing other rhinos, and he had actually paid a lot of money toward the reserve itself. So there's my little life lesson to you guys. <laughs> you know what would be an extra profit? You just take the rhino's horn and sell it? Well, yeah. People like rangers and stuff will, like, some conservation programs will try to, like, cut off rhino's horns to make them less, like, quote-unquote, valuable, because for some reason people think that rhino's horns, which are made of the same stuff as your fingernails, have some sort of magical medicinal value. <laughs> ah, but, but yeah, it costs more than diamonds. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 ridiculous. Like, why? Actually, why don't we start a rhino farm? A rhino farm? Well, because first of all, it's an endangered species, and second of all, what use would they have? Well, then again, you gotta realize that farms usually, like you know, like you know, mass breed animals. So I think that get them out of the. Well, know. that's what zoos are partially for. Zoos are for breeding and conservation. Zoos have two main goals: um, conservation and education. So education. But in, the but in rhino farms. But in rhino farms, the thing about my rhino farm is that... Well, yeah, you, but you would be breeding them for a specific purpose. Yeah, we'd, we'd sell the horns, and we, and then after they expired, we we sell the meat. For food, like cows. Hmm. Yeah, but you also have to realize how few rhinos there are left in the wild. Question, now, do they have a mating season? I believe so, yes. But how, how, is it like a quick thing, or are they ready to mate every time? Um, I think they all, like, 
come together at a specific um, point in time, there's like a mass group of rhinos that all. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we just mass breed rhinos. Like, how many calves can a, can a rhino have? I think they just have one calf at a time. That is evolutionarily, like, you know. Well, rhinos, you also have to think rhinos are really strong, too. And it's sometimes more efficient. Like, humans tend to only have one um, child at a time. Humans don't really have litters. Sometimes we have eight. <laughs> well, that's, like, really rare, though. And I'm pretty sure I just heard a pheasant. Uh, hunting in the woods is so much harder than hunting in open areas because... Uh, so, would, like uh, so, so, Mr. Fish, would yeah. you reconsider this, this, um, this, this idea of yours to go hunt in the woods? What? Would you reconsider go back, going back to the valley for food? Well, later, yeah, we were gonna head back. We're just gonna take a quick trip out. Actually, okay, okay, it's, but you missed my pun. I said would. Okay, fine. It's not oh, a pun if you don't oh, get it. Oh, oh, okay. But anyway, back to the rhino farm. If we if we mass breed rhinos, so one, it's gonna get them out of the endangered species, and two, we can make a lot of mo a lot of a lot of money off of it. Yeah, but there are so few rhinos left that starting a rhino farm would be really hard. And it's like, Zoo's going through a lot of effort to try to keep pure, like, well, not really pure genomes, like, kind of the opposite, like, make sure that they have, um, variations in their- Okay, I think, I think, I think since we, I think the problem is that we're trying too hard to, uh, to, you know, to keep, um, like, those- Is there nothing we can breed rhino- crossbreed- crossbreed rhinos with? Well, the problem with hybrids is that they tend they to don't be look well. They're they're in for, they're sterile, meaning that they can't reproduce. So like mules, mules can't reproduce. Ligers can't Wait, reproduce. Mules can't reproduce. Mules cannot reproduce. I did not know this. Huh. That's like the definition of a hybrid. Well, unless you're talking about genetics, of course. Like in a different sense, like a hybrid between a white mouse and a brown mouse kind of thing. But is there any close relatives that they can breed with to uh, make, you know, fertile children? Um, well, maybe other types of rhinos, and some um, zoos are doing that kind of thing, because, for instance, with tigers, um, there are, like, so few tigers, but there are, like, lots of different subspecies, but all of them are basically on the verge of extinction. So some of them are actually being bred, like the Chinese, the South Chinese tiger, I think, um, is actually being crossbred with other types of tigers to try yeah, that's to my, increase uh, yeah. their numbers. Yeah, in my opinion, I think we just should just any endangered species. I think we just crossbreed it, crossbreed it to make more. But then you don't have as much um, biodiversity. It doesn't matter as long as they live. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know where that other rabbit went. I'm going I think the best way to put it. I think the best way to put it is: if, imagine if the shoe was on the other foot, man. Like, if if humans were on the verge of extinction, and like you know, animals were trying to keep us alive, you know, because they were the smart ones that evolved. I don't think. I don't think. Oh, well, I would argue that I don't animals think... are indeed the smart ones. They're not. Tell me what. Okay. Okay. Fine. So, okay. Explain to me how they. Okay. 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 There's two kinds of smarts. There is intelligence. And then there's common sense. I would argue completely... that many species possess both. It's very relative and actually quite unfair okay. to judge species from a different umfelt the same way we judge ourselves. But I'm saying common sense, yeah, common sense. A lot of animals are a lot smarter with common sense than we are. But I, I highly doubt intelligence-wise. Maybe dolphins. Dolphins are the only ones I might give that to. But like, you know, I don't think you there's any... You would be surprised. Any, uh... Many apes are currently in somewhat of a stone age even though we don't recognize it okay okay so i'm telling you this so if i let if i let an ape do my sats do you think do you think he's gonna pass well do you think he's gonna score higher than me because that's the problem it's not that's intelligence age. that's not common sense because it's not like you can't judge that because it doesn't think the same way i still i still don't understand that very topic it's called are we smart enough for, well, let me go over and look at the actual name of this book. It's, are we smart enough to know how smart animals are? And uh, it's like a scientific book. 
You see, uh, so, but that's the thing. I think grilling the girls getting smart might might cause the downfall of humanity. Hey, actually, well, they are smart just... though. That's the problem. Actually, but if they, like getting uh, like to the same level as us, like or even higher. Like for anybody who's never who anybody who here who reads comics, a good example, Rod. No. So Gorilla Grodd, or like he's like to be called General Grodd, was this this mon uh, this uh, I was gonna say monkey, and that would be like really offensive. It's a lot of okay. but Gorilla Grodd. I just call him called Grodd. Grodd found that finds this space rock that fell out of outer space, and he and gets a helmet, and he sees and he sees like how hu terrible humans are, and um and basically basically I'm gonna quote him. I'm gonna quote him right now. Uh, we're gonna have to teach humans our peaceful ways by force. So yeah, that's what I'm most worried about. It sounds a Being... little bit like a fiction novel. It's, it's a comic book, Ryan. Of course it's a fiction novel. You think you think there's an actual gorilla out there? Who, 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 well, who, uh... Maybe. Who can yeah. command an entire legion of talking monkeys? Uh, why not? Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Out that would be the. Worst. Could you imagine? Could you imagine the, like the Planet of the Apes? Not not the the new one, but the old one where they kept the humans in cages. And they're like monkey see, monkey do, and they try to. They, they think that. I don't think I don't think I could live in a society like that. Especially with my kind of like with, with If I went back into the past, if I went into the future, with that. Guys, that I found was my a civilization. Rabbit. I'm gonna unique up on it. How do you catch a unique rabbit? You unique up on it. Neat, neat. Oh no, it's the purple flowers of doom! What do I they do? This. Are they like catnip? Don't right click near the purple flowers of doom or else you'll see this. See what? Oh uh, yeah, my thing's delayed. That. I'm just gonna like... Did you get high? <laughs> kind of are you high? <laughs> <laughs> are, are you high? Yeah, these are the purple flowers of doom. I think Barry will love those really much. Huh? Um, I think oh. Barry would really love those. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm. I was kind of hoping that there would be. Wait. Oh, <gasps> there are. Are they? There are what? They are coming. What? what is? What is coming? I think I can make one more rabbit hunt before we attempt that. Attempt to what? Why well, I'm about to attempt. Mr. Fish, you're scaring me. Don't do anything stupid with our children. I'm not doing anything stupid. I'm doing something quite difficult, actually. Okay. Uh, oh, no. So, um, guess what we're gonna hunt, guys? We're gonna hunt deer. Oh dear. This is gonna go home too wrong. Damn I don't like this I don't like this like I feel like it's dangerous. Be careful be careful, Mr. Fish. You might actually you might be thunderstruck. Da -na -na -na. Yeah, I don't actually remember lightning being a problem in the um, when I used to play this game, but it's very good. I'm gonna try to hunt these, um... Alright. Thank you. Thank you, Shelter. You're very helpful. You've given me one instruction. And that is jump. That is an awesome picture. The jumping tent. Ah! The deer from, from far away kind of look like horses. Tiny horses. Everyone eat. Everyone eat the deer. Eat up. Yeah, you killed the deer. Oh dear, that's a lot of blood. First deer hunt. Woo, that's something I try to do at least. Once. Like, oh, teach your kids how to hunt a deer. It's like on my checklist of things to teach children. As a real parent? No, not as like... <laughs> real parent, but as a real parent, about... that seems like a necessary skill, hunt deer. Okay, because I was about to say, okay, uh... I actually, it'll be a fun game to play, play on this channel. What? 
ever heard of Deer Hunter? The game? Oh, the Call of the Wild game that's like coming out right now? I think something like that. Yeah. That's like, that's a fun game. But I'm not sure if I would be like skilled enough to actually do that, because that's like real world hunting. If they have multiplayer, I can really hunt them. They so. do have multiplayer, actually. One rabbit! Just one more rabbit! Oh, so, oh, but it depends if I can play it, play it or not. Uh, for the oh, internet yeah. to know, for everybody to know, and for everybody, for everybody on the internet to know, I am an Apple, uh, I have an Apple computer, because I'm lame. Yeah, sadly, <laughs> Apple is mean and doesn't like gamers. No, it's actually the other way around. It's, it's more like game developers don't like Apple. Well, that makes sense. I can see that. Oh, should but we man. go try to hunt some quail? Quail, that's your decision. Okay, that was a bad joke. Anyway. That, that, was, that was a really bad joke. Uh, well, yeah, let's go hunt some quail. I, always, I like I used to get um, quail pheasant confused all the time. But I have a question. You, can you climb trees in this game? No, but you can shake like owl nests out of trees to um, feed all your babies. Why I don't, don't kinda, do that? I don't really don't like all of these uh, all this thunder and lightning. It's very very frightening. He's got a Easy come, easy go, little honey. Everywhere the wind blows. That doesn't really matter. Does it really matter? Okay, that's to enough copyright me. strikes for one day. No, it's not. Does it count as copyright if we sing it? I I think so. I don't actually know. I, as long I, as we don't. I hope hey, that, I don't that they this. don't mind the free publicity of a like 12 subscriber YouTube account. Hey, hilarious, and then you get a copyright strike right after you that post this be, video. That would be disappointing, because I, like, can't not upload videos that are under 15 minutes. Like, that. You, you get what I mean. I always have long videos. Yeah, actually, yeah, we're about, we're in, at the 30 minute mark of, of this video, if, I, if, if I'm correct. Uh, but interesting enough, um, what was I going to say? Also, this is uh, how you would hide from wolves in the event of a wolf thing. Okay, but interesting fact about predatory animals. I, I do remember, I once saw... Uh, do, 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 do boars count as predatory animals? I think boars are omnivorous. Um, so, yeah. I but, I once, yeah but I once saw a, saw a time saw a boar take it. Go. Okay, there we go. Wait, yeah, but I once saw a boar take down a rabbit alive. Huh. It was cool though. But it was horrifying. Horrifying to see for a tan. Uh, but yeah, it was cool. But like, as a kid, I didn't. I never watched. I never watched Disney Channel as a kid. Like you know, I thought that was for like you know, that was unclassy of me. So I used to. I always used to watch Animal Planet. Animal Planet was like my Disney Channel back in the day. So that, that's why I'm so desensitized to uh, to animals killing each other. Especially like this. Oh, yeah. well, this yeah, this is a little bit of a mass slaughter. I don't think a mother lynx would actually have to kill that many. Animals. I don't think kids would be this hungry. <laughs> yeah, kids would probably have to eat this often. But I think you have to consider that this is this entire game is basically it's supposed to take place in over a year, or a couple of years, in a short amount of period. Well, so I maybe think you're it's supposed to be just one year because they have seasons. Yeah, I guess one or two years. I think. I don't know. I don't remember. But maybe this is like a post-apocalyptic Earth, where the Earth is spinning a lot faster than it should around the sun, and all the humans died because they couldn't handle the pressure. But all the lynxes and all the other animals are alive, but they were built for this. But yeah, that's how it works. You know what this game needs? It needs some dinosaurs. Why would you have dinosaurs in shelter? It's fine, we can have zombie dinosaurs, so they have an excuse to bring them back to life. Well, that makes even less sense. If you wanted... If you wanted something that, that makes sense... Then you should have brought a dollar! Oh! Ha ha ha! Puns for days! And I'm so cool! <laughs> I'm not cool, okay. So... 
We got okay. How many are? How many do we still have alive? We got marshmallow. We got kick. Not marshmallow. We got berry. We got cat. We got Reese's Puffs, and we got Hershey's. We got so, Mr. Over. Fish. So, Mr. Fish, where yeah. are we up to now? Um, we are. Oh, wait, or how long until they turn into adults? Um, a little while, actually. Um, we probably won't sit here and just record this one recording session until they become adults. Cause I wanna, not really, cause I just wanted to finish one generation at least. I don't actually know where that rabbit kill went. There we go. I actually kind of need this so that I can. Yeah, but I, you know what I also noticed? What? This link. This jump. Ah, uh, link. No. This um. This uh. Think. What, what? What am I saying? No. This bobcat. What's the other name for this animal? Lynx. Yeah. This lynx. Although I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm. I think that bobcat and lynx are actually two different things. I think bobcats are in America and lynx is in are in Europe. I, I like Whoa. I like to think that was a sudden season change. I am also like how... very startled. Really, the way I like to imagine it is that uh, a, a guy named Bob found the found the found this animal and like we're gonna call it a bobcat, and then the scientific community is like, you know what? That's a stupid name. We're gonna change it to sphinx or lynx. Well, says the people who named it, uh, have named a toad mountain chicken, but... Okay. Hey, hey, they probably had perfectly good reason. Maybe they ate it, and it tasted like chicken. Uh, I don't think interesting, that's likely, however. Interesting story. Uh, yeah, this, that's my thing on this channel. I tell a lot of stories. Interesting story. Um, there was this one time when I went down to the Everglades uh, in Florida, and I went uh, boating, and, and uh, there was a stand who was selling food. my food. screen all of a sudden so zoomed in? But yeah, it was selling food. Uh, one of them was alligator steak. I didn't, I didn't get to eat the alligator steak. But I did get to try fried um, frog legs. And fried frog legs taste a lot like chicken, I must say. It's like a tougher, slimier chicken. But it tastes really good, I must say. Mm, so every time I so every time I look at a frog, I can only think of like you know cooking him up, because it'd be delicious and nutritious. Does, do frogs have any nutritional uh, nutritional value? Yeah, of course they have nutritional value. They're protein, are they not? Yeah, I guess so. Also, um, interesting fact: since there are like some brown rabbits, some white rabbits, and then some that are like both. You can always have like one color of rabbit to rely on depending on the season. So when it's like winter and white rabbits are hard to see, you can go for the brown rabbits. Um, but during the um, spring and summer, when like it's harder, wait, where did all my comes from? Okay. Also, inter interesting question. Um, where do where do uh what wh what is the benefit of going through a uh, wolf valley? Uh, none. So you just go there for the giggles? You go there to die, essentially. Um, I should probably practice jumping up on like some kind of rock before we go to Wolf Valley, but... Um, hmm. Might do that. You know what? You know what? I think... I think that would be great sequel bait, don't you think? What? Wolf Valley. Really? Are we gonna really leave our fans? Or oh, like your fans, not my fans. I'm gonna have a lot of fans soon because this video is gonna make me super popular. But yeah, I think I think your fans would hate it if you made this a like, cliffhanger. But then again, that's what we like to do. We like to troll people on this channel. Yeah, so why not? Alright. Well, so would you guys okay, we're gonna leave it here. Actually, can I do the outro? Alright, sure, you do an outro. I don't really have an outro, but okay. Okay, thank you everybody for watching. This is Mr. Ronin and Antonio Bapasta, and today we have played uh, Shelter 2. Come back next time where we'll be going through Wolf Valley. Have a good day and see you next time. Mmm, Kit Kats. <laughs>